What's up everybody? My name is Bobby Techno from Bobby's Tech World and today we are going to unlock the tethering on our Nexus 5X. Alright, for some of you like myself, uh, we are on, um, I'm still grandfathered unlimited for Verizon. If you're with other carriers that have uh, um, tethering options that just don't quite um, allow you unless you purchase a separate program, hopefully this will help you out. And um, if you follow the video I had before this about getting drivers installed and unlocking your bootloader, custom recovery and all that stuff, you'll be good to go to set this up. So you might want to watch that, or if you've got your bootloader unlocked and everything else and stuff like that, you know how to connect and do these things, then by all means start from here. But if not, go back to my previous video. So, just to show you, if you go down here to your phone... And let's say I want to go to uh, unlock my tethering. Let's go right here. Tethering portable hotspot. I try to go ahead and turn it on. See that there. See it says I need a subscription. Alright, so obviously that's not going to work. So we'll just cancel out of that. The reason why I got it all set up like this, it might not be very clear, but you can kind of see what it's going to show you. It's just so you can get the image of what I'm doing here and then what's happening on the phone at the same time. So let me just go ahead and back down to there. Make sure when you're plugged up you got USB debugging on. And I always like to go over here, click on file transfers. So then everything is set up right and you got all that good stuff. So at this point, we will, and this is the guide. All right, I'll have the link below to this XDA form guide. So you got to do is just read it and follow exactly what he has to say. So in my previous video, I had talked about you have a folder that you put together for all of your platform tools and everything. This is where we're going to run our command because we're going to have to do some ADB uh, debugging bridge stuff and run some fast boot commands and all that. So once again, hold down shift, right click out here. We'll open a command here. Then at this point, I'll type in ADB devices. We'll see what's attached. Make sure that this phone is attached. Okay, it shows that it's attached. So I'm going to put ADB reboot bootloader. And you should see the boom. Okay, there's a bootloader. If you can't see it too well down here, it says device state unlocked. You have to have an unlocked bootloader for this to work. So let me go ahead and slide this over here. All right. Now it asks you in this here, ADB devices worked, ADB reboot bootloader we just did. Now once it's the fast boot boot twerp. Now if you don't have twerp installed and stuff like that, this is a great way because you'll do it, everything will work, you'll get untethering and then you can just move on with your life and not have any kind of special custom recoveries. It's fine. So. Instead of booting into this twerp here, we can. There's a newer one out there, which is uh, this guy here, 3.0. So we can choose to do this one or that one. It's, it's pretty much your call. Let's try and shoot for the new one. So I'm going to not do that. Sorry. Let me change that back. I meant to get this smaller for you. There we go. All right, so we can read what's down here. All right, so I'm going to put fast boot, boot, and then go into this folder here. The same one where we had once you, you once again you're going to have to have twerp downloaded. Okay, if you didn't my previous video, you can go through there and download that stuff. But if not, I can provide a link below if you need to. But there should be a link here or whatever that'll help you out. But we're going to go ahead and I'm going to highlight all this here. Just the words as if you're going to rename it. Copy it. Bring it over here. And then right click and it will paste it. So fast boot boot. And then there you go. And it should boot us into uh, Team Win Recovery Project. All right. So as you can see, the phone is doing something. Now I have my phone encrypted, or so, or as far as when you try to start the phone up. So 
Let me go ahead and take care of this. Okay, so this there you go. Everything passes, and you go. Oh, there we go. We're in. Next step down here tells you to right here when Torp finishes booting, click mount and check the system. So we're going to click mount. We're going to check system. Then we're going to. I just hit back, but it's fine. Now we need to pull our build.prop file. So let's go here and put adb pull system build.prop. You can probably cut and paste it, which is fine. Um, but we're going to go ahead and pull it. Alright, it's done. Then it says now we need to. Using the text editor, we're going to open it up. Now, where did it go when we pulled it? Well, guess what? It pulled it right into the same folder as uh, how we start up our ADB and everything. So, what we're looking for is build.prop. And, excuse me if I can't see it right away. Might just have to refresh it. Oh, excuse me. There it is right there. Alright, so we're going to open that up, and I'm going to use, you know what, I'm going to right click on it. And then what I have installed is, um, you'll see here what I have installed. Yeah, Notepad++. You can just look it up and download it. So I'm going to open that up, and what you'll see is here's the build.prop, the whole thing. Don't mess with anything else. Down below the last line. All right, 140. You want to type in. Let's go back to that here. Using text to add this line. So I'm going to go ahead and copy it. And then go back into it. paste it and then I'm going to save it up here all right because I believe it says to do that now we push it back it says use text editor and then save it done done now we're gonna push it back into the phone so I'm gonna go ahead and cancel out of there pull this back up and we're gonna push this back into the system so copy here paste and then enter all right that's done now we want to make sure our permissions are set I like that copy it go into here paste it hit enter then and lastly Sucker right here. Copy. Paste and then enter. Alright, it said something up here. Error while setting settings provider. Well, we'll see what that's all about. Because now we just need a reboot. So, hopefully that'll, hmm, yeah, let's see. Hopefully that may not have messed anything up. So, just need to type in ADB reboot. So, hopefully this works out. And our phone's going to reboot. And, of course, if you've unlocked the bootloader, you're going to get a warning as normal you're gonna get a second warning that tells you about something about a corrupt file something like that just show up here in just a second I don't I really don't know about all this up here what happened with that um, maybe it was just a uh, put global tether so I don't know we'll check it out we'll see how that works phone has been booted up 
and we're in so what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna go ahead scroll down and go to settings tether and hotspot let's see if it works oh yeah there you go it's working you can probably can't see it too well up there um, but it gives you like a little radar little radar looking thing but that's it it's on and it's running I don't have another device around me to show this connecting to it though but as you can see here it's up and it's running so that's pretty much it I'm not too sure about what happened here with that error stuff that might be an older update something different but hey we got it running so now you have it down here as a hotspot button you can turn the hotspot off you can turn it back on okay so there you go let's turn it back on see there you go hotspots back on so I really hope you enjoy this this is how you need to unlock your Nexus 5x alright you're to unlock excuse me not your bootloader or anything like that, but to unlock tethering yes your bootloader needs to be on your bootloader needs to be unlocked so thank you all for watching I'm just gonna be quiet shut up and just move on uh, hope you enjoy this video just uh, stay tuned there will be plenty more there's more steps involved with the Heisenberg uh, series where we're going to root and do a bunch of things so just stay tuned I just had to put this in here because I really want my tethering on and all that so thank y'all for watching I'm Bobby Techno from Bobby's Tech World and I'm pulling chocks